Good day, students. Today we are going to look at work energy and power again, which is part three. We've been looking at work energy and power before now, and we've considered the work energy. Then today we want to look at power. So our lesson objectives for today will be divine power. Divine what power is. Then write mathematical expression for power. Then we are going to be looking at the different units that power can be measured in. So what is power? Power is defined as a time rate of doing work. That is, you know we have looked at work before now, and we have looked at energy. For example, if it takes a man 100 joules of energy to actually do a particular work at a particular time, then when you get the work divided by the time you have what is called power. And don't forget, the power we are looking at today is mechanical power. So power is defined as the time rate of doing work. That is, the rate, the time taken for you to do a particular work is called, that rate is called power. For example, if two boys of the same weight, if they are climbing a, a, uh, a flight of stairs of the same height, don't forget, the same height, the boy that gets to the top first is said to have greater power. Why? Because the two of them, they have the same, they are climbing the same height and they have the same weight. So definitely the one that is getting to the top first is going to have greater power. We still look at it better. Now, power is force times distance over time. Don't forget, when we're treating work, we said work is force times distance. So now power now is work over time. That is the rate of doing work is power. And you know work is force times distance. Don't forget your force could be your weight, which could be your force could be your weight, which could be mass times acceleration due to gravity. Mass times acceleration due to gravity. Then the unit in which you can measure power. Power can be measured in watt. It can also be measured in kilowatt, and it can also be measured in horsepower. And of course, there is conversion unit between watt, kilowatt, and horsepower. Now, 1,000 watt is one kilowatt. Don't forget the word kilo here is 1,000. So 1,000 watt is one kilowatt. Then 746 watts is going to give you one horsepower. Such that if you want to make conversion now, for example, let's say you are converting 20 watts, I want to change it to kilowatt. So let us see what will happen. So you recall that 1000 watts is going to give you one kilowatt. So 20 watts, let's say it's going to give you many eggs that you are looking for, which you don't know. So by the time you cross multiply, you have 1,000 x is equal to 20 times 1, which is 20. So divide this by 1,000. So you are going to have 0 0.02 kilowatt. It means 1,020 watt is going to give you 0 0.02 kilowatt. Of course, you can also change watt to horsepower by following the same principle. That is 746 watt is equal to 1 horsepower. So the continuation of this class, you will see it on Google Classroom. So this is just a uh, you know, small, small part of it. So you see the remaining one in Google Classroom. Thank you. Mm -hmm.